fiance can away our grandmother came here so we're moving on to the next stages of getting our preparations ready so behind me you can see uh, they're washing off the tarp and the tarp's gonna go um, underneath the hide so it's not laying on the grass and we're rinsing off this this tarp we'll put the hide near where the um, frame is gonna be and we're just getting ready to set up the frame so we'll walk over and take a look here what the boys are doing you can see the frames laying out on the grass it's been all notched and cut out and then it's gonna get assembled and we'll see what the what the next step is Grandmother came here. So we're getting ready to lay out the frame. As you can see, we're fitting the pieces together and they are going to get bolted. And then and side by side. They're, angle to angle. The boys are, are figuring out how yeah. to ensure that it's a solid connection because um, it can't wobble and it can't warp. So how it fits together, I'm going to show you, is really important. Then, then there'll be um, holes uh, put in to, put, uh, to be able to wrap the actual rope around uh, once it's, it's tied through the hide. So making sure that this part is really, really rigid and really, really square is very, very important. So you can see it's, it's just getting it together now. We've got a nice solid uh, square frame made with uh, three by threes. <laughs> I'm learning about all this as, as you are as well. And I'm pretty excited about the building of the frame and the actual removal of the hide, which is still soaking in this lovely bin. reach in for you so you can see it and oh man it's heavy uh, so if you're looking carefully you can see the hair so there's the hair side and then there's the skin side I will be scraping off all of this flesh we'll also be removing all of this this buffalo hair here to get a nice clean hide and this hide's going to be turned into a drum. Have a great day everybody. So now we're actually cutting the holes to um, stretch the hide on the frame and it's very very thick so when you take a look at this hide what you are seeing is an extremely strong skin. This is the skin we would have used to make teepee coverings and all the hair would be removed and the flesh on the inside 
is the side that we work with the most in preparing the hide itself. And you can see the guys right now. Are cutting holes and these holes will be where the string is actually strung through the hide itself. Want to go right there? So let me give you a bigger view. It always takes more than one person to work with the with the hide because you need to create tension, um, and there's lots of little steps that are required to just prepare the hide before you even get to the scraping and the removal of hair. There's lots and lots of things you need to do, but it's just amazing that these beautiful giant buffalo skins would have been through this process and then smoke tanned and then actually sewn together and you would get your your beautiful large teepees which you can see in the background here so you can imagine how heavy teepee covering would have been I had a lot of muscles back then I'm really looking forward to this process I hope you're enjoying this be well bye, -bye.